If you type find me a house in Houston that works for a family of four, my budget is 600K into a text field. After submitting the task, the AI uses a web browser to automatically surf redfin.com, clicking the appropriate pages, entering a search term, and altering the search criteria until a matching home shows up on the screen. This is Action Transformer Act 1 built by a California-based AI company called Adept. Act 1 is an AI model that, when given complex written or spoken instructions, can act in software just like a personal assistant. According to reports, it can navigate websites, use web apps, and conduct intelligent searches while clicking, scrolling, and typing in the appropriate fields, as if it were a real person using the computer. The next era of computing will be defined by natural language interfaces that allow us to tell our computers what we want directly, rather than doing it by hand. Act 1 is demonstrated using Salesforce in a different demonstration video on Adept's website. Prompts like Add Max Knight at Adept as a new lead and log a call with James Veal saying that he's thinking about buying 100 widgets are displayed. Act 1 then completes these tasks by selecting the appropriate buttons, scrolling, and filling out the appropriate forms. In another demonstration video, Act 1 may be shown using a browser to access Wikipedia, Google Sheets, and Craigslist. How is this possible? Adept describes Act 1 as a large-scale transformer. In AI, a transformer model is a type of neural network that learns to do something by training on example data, and it builds knowledge of the context and relationships between items in the data set. Transformers have been behind many recent AI innovations, including language models like GPT-3 that can write at a nearly human level. In the case of Act 2.1, the AI model appears to have learned from the training data which first came from people using the software. On Hacker News, a person who claimed to be an Act 1 engineer commented, We combined human demos with feedback information. To both record the demos and describe the tool's state in a way that models can consume, you need specialized software. A Chrome extension that can observe what's happening in the browser and do certain actions, such as clicking, typing, and scrolling according to Adept, allows the Act 2 1 model to interact with a web browser after training. According to the business, Act 1 can generalize across websites, making it possible to apply rules discovered on one website to another. Even though scripts to automate browsing already exist and are frequently used to power bots with malicious purposes, the robust universal nature of Act 1 revealed in the demos seems to take machine automation to a new level. On Twitter, many are already sounding the alarm about the potential for misuse of this technology, both seriously and half-jokingly. As we rush headlong toward universal human-level AI that can communicate with the outside world through the internet, those issues should be kept in mind even though they are entirely hypothetical at this point, especially since Act 2.1 does not act autonomously. Adept even references this goal on its website, writing, We believe the clearest framing of general intelligence is a system that can do anything a human can do in front of a computer. If you are interested, you can join them or you can sign up for a demo on their website. So what are your thoughts on this AI? Do let me know in comment section. If you watched this far, a like will be appreciated. Thank you.